got the greatest players to never ever win a championship, man. The five greatest players. I won five. Are you are you are you want me to go? All right. You want me to go first? Not, shit, I don't care. You I right, bet. Look, cause I had to, you know, I had to get, you know, cause I did my homework on this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look, Charles Barkley is number one. And you know, we all know the elephant in the room. I'm not gonna say who they who the general consensus is as the number one. You know, cause you know, he's a piece of you know what? You know, uh, but uh we not gonna say him because by far they think he's you know the greatest player to never won a, a championship. But he ain't on this list for various reasons. Uh we got Charles Barkley as number one. Uh, Sir Charles, what are you talking about? Charles Barkley, eleven time all eleven time all NBA, eleven time all star, MVP of the league. Bro, Charles Barkley was a monster. He doesn't get enough credit, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's a top 20, top 25 player in the NBA of all time. You know what I'm saying? He deserves respect. You know, you know, I don't like how Shaq be coming at him, either, you know, saying he ain't got a chip or whatever, you know. And Charles like to make excuses. And, you know, he did have kind of a fringe super team. You know, they made yeah. him a little older, but, you know, they were great players on he, one he's team. Had, he's had some help in his career, even in Phoenix. Right. A lot of people don't, you know. Right, and then at number two, I got John Stockton. You know that goes without saying. One of the premier point guards of all time, uh, NBA all time. He's the all time assist leader, the all time steals leader, eleven time All NBA, ten time All Star, and five time All Defense. How could he not? You know what I'm saying? How could he not? You know I gotta put John Stockton number two. Number three, we got Allen Iverson. You know, a personal favorite of mine. You already know. He, you already know. Uh, MVP of the league, you know, cultural icon, gotta throw that in there, you know what I'm saying? Seven time All NBA, four time scoring champion, three time still champ, and took his team to the finals, you know, offensively carried them. They were a great defensive okay. team. I know you like the hate. They were a great defensive team, though, you know what I'm saying? But offensively, Six I think, year on that team, too. Six I think, minutes. hold on, I think Allen Iverson carried them offensively for sure. You know, there's no yeah, way I, they would have won I, one yeah. game against the Lakers without AI, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Then at number four. Ball. Then at number four, this may be a little controversial, but Eddie thinks I should put Chris Paul behind Steve Nash, but I got Chris Paul at number four. Chris Paul, 12-time All-Star, you know what I'm saying? Six-time six steals leader, you know what I'm saying? Four-time All-Defense. And when he goes to your team, he knows, you know, this is the general consensus that Chris Paul makes your team better. You know what I'm saying? You know, he may have had his little, you know, choke-ups or whatever, you know what I'm saying? He fell off or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But... At the end of the day, Chris Paul makes your team better when he goes there. You know, he's been to the finals as well. You know what I'm saying? So I got to put him over Steve Nash, who was at number five. You know what I'm saying? Steve Nash, two controversial MVP wins. You know what I'm saying? One of them I think he was deserving of, but another one, that's another story. Uh, Four-time, all-time, uh, fourth and all-time in assists. Seven-time All-NBA, eight-time All-Star. You know, I got to put Steve Nash at number five. There's no way I can't. I can't keep Steve Nash out of my top five. It's a lot more honorable mention. You know, I got to put respect on them as well. You know, even though they're not in the top five. But, um, look, this this is just how my list is looking. But, go ahead. I'm, I'm looking at the comments right now. And uh, Kev is having a blast. He said, if Vince Carter's not on this list, I'm going to be mad. He also said, um, AI That's his own is weak. Why he on there. He, we all know why he ain't on there. <laughs> we know why he not on there. He said, AI is weak. And Chris Paul and the Suns, they were celebrating too early late night beers after going up 2-0. That's a fact. That's true, too. That's true, too. All right, but uh, to start off my list at number one, I got Carl Malone, bro. Like, I don't I don't like the guy any, any more than you do, but I'm not about to deny this man respect. This man, uh, you know, uh, he did his job as a basketball player. Not as a human being. We all know he's a piece of crap. That's for another day. He's a two-time MVP. 14-time All-NBA. Number two on the all-time scoring list. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. LeBron just passed. Number three on the all-time scoring list. Pass he's a, he's a career. Mind. He's a career 25 and 10 a game. And he has two finals appearances. <laughs> Carmelo is one of the greatest <laughs> post players of all time. <laughs> Carl Adazi, bro. He definitely is, bro. Oh, man. King James. <laughs> but yeah, man. Yo, Kev, we got to get you on here, man. We going to get we, you on here special. We got to get you on here, Kev. Next, sure. next stream. Next stream. Sure. Two finals appearances, like I said. Um, You know, uh, he fell short to the GOAT. You know? Took him to six. It happened. Two two, two close game sixes, you know? Um, After that, I got Charles Barkley. You know, we could both agree on Charles Barkley being up there. Um, Yo, Bash was good, Bash. Um, you know, one-time MVP, 
He's been in. He's been to the finals again. Faced the goat, who eventually averaged forty on his team, which is, you know, you can't get. I can't really, you know, Charles, bro. I can't. You can't do too much about that. Forty points from the goat is, is absurd, man. And um, you know, he had three straight games giving you forty or more. So MJ was crazy that series. Charles is a career twenty-two and twelve. He's eleven times All NBA, like you stated. You know, he's a great player of all time. Just don't got him above Carmelo. He's he's right there, though. You know, uh, John Stockton at three, you know, one of the greatest point guards of all time. Definitely got him in that top five. I was, a, you know, I was a little crazy when I heard him put him at two, but I remembered why. Uh, assist leader all time, steals leader all time. Two times been in the finals, a career 13-11, 11 All-NBA, and nine times he was the assist champion, bro. Like, this man... I think one time he averaged 16 assists to go along with like 15 points one time in the season, man. That guy, man, he could he could shed a rock, bro. That's one thing about that, man. He could shed a rock. One of the best pick and roll players of all time. But when I bring up the pick and roll, I cannot forget Steve Nash, bro. Gotta bring up Steve Nash and Amari Stoudemire in them days. Steve Nash, I don't care what nobody say. One of the greatest point guards of all time. Probably got him in the in the arguable five through six range. You know, two time MVP, five time assist champ, seven time All NBA, two time MVP. Like I said, let's do a salute, bro. Appreciate. It. Yeah, yeah. Good man. looking, good looking. Four, a career fourteen and nine, and he's a career 49, 43, and ninety from the field. Uh, you know, one hundred and thirty career win shares. Steve Nash is very valuable. Number one offense ten years before. Yeah, he had Mike D'Antoni. But he's been valuable to his team so many times, bro. Steve Nash is one of the GOAT point guards. And the GOAT figure for a point guard, meaning the the the, the word that the, you know defies per point guard. So Steve Nash is definitely up there. Uh, and at last but not least, I got Chris Paul, six-time steel champ, 11-time All-NBA, nine-time All-Defense, five-time assist champ, a career 18 and 10, and a rookie of the year. Not much to be said. The only reason why I got Steve Nash, I mean, Chris Paul this low. Before uh, the last couple years, I had Chris Paul probably at my fifth best point guard of all time. But, you know, the choke job and, you know, all this stuff going on, you know, him him not being aggressive, being that he's supposed to be one of the greatest of all time. But in certain situations, he just isn't as aggressive. And he should take that approach, being that some people call him the clutchest point guard of all time or right. one of the clutches, you know, players in general of all time. And, and, and in fact, he is one of the clutches point guards of all time. But the I words guess. that he, the, the nicknames that he get, like point guard and this and that, for him to, it took him to 37 to get to a finals. And it was, you know, because they had a well put together team. And even though he did lead that team, don't get me wrong, they got squashed. You know, they got, they got, they lost to a guy. He said, <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, um, that's, you know, that's it. That's my list, man. That's, that's. Yeah.